Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about the difference between two sample T and pair T test which is an important topic in statistics. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Two sample T is the hypothesis test of the difference between two population means when samples are drawn independently from each other. Pair T test is the hypothesis test of the difference between paired observations that are dependent. When you conduct a hypothesis test using two random samples, you must choose the type of test based on whether the samples are dependent or independent. What is the difference between independent and dependent samples? Independent samples are measurements made on two different sets of items. For example, give one group of people an active chemical substance and give a different group of people an inactive chemical substance, then compare the blood pressures between the groups. Furthermore, dependent samples are paired measurements for one set of items. For example, sample the blood pressures of the same people before and after they receive a dose. Two sample T test is used when the data of two samples are statistically independent while the paired t-test is used when data is in the form of dependent samples. To ensure that your results are valid, consider the following guidelines when you collect data, perform the analysis, and interpret your results. The sample data should be selected randomly. If your data are not collected randomly, your results may not represent the population. Sample data must be continuous. Continuous data has an infinite number of values between any two values. Sample data are from a normally distributed population. Independent samples. Measurements for one observation do not affect measurements for any other observation. Let's take an example. You want to compare the daily sales for two different designs of web pages for your internet business. Another example is the gym trainer measured the body fat for a group of men and women who did workouts at a gym two times a week for 12 weeks. A healthcare consultant wants to compare the patient satisfaction ratings of two hospitals. The hospitals are independent samples as measurements for the first hospital does not affect measurements for the second hospital. On the other hand, for a pair T test, the sample must be random, continuous and sample data are from normally distributed population. Besides, observations must be paired. Each of the paired measurements must be obtained from the same subject. Pair T test is useful for analyzing differences in before and after measurement on the same subject. For example, a medical researcher wishes to determine if a pill has the undesirable side effect of reducing the blood pressure of the user. The study involves recording the initial blood pressures of 15 college-age women. After they use the pill regularly for six months, their blood pressure is again recorded. The researcher wishes to draw inferences about the effect of the pill on blood pressure. Besides, the pair test is also used to analyze the difference between two treatments given to the same subject. For example, measure the performance of athletes before and after completing the intensive training program. Next, I will like to share with you how to develop null and alternate hypothesis for two sample T and pair T test. Before that, let's understand the definition of null and alternate hypothesis. Null hypothesis is the statement that we are assuming to be true and we are trying to find evidence against it. Alternate hypothesis is the statement that we would eventually like to support or prove. For two sample t test, the null hypothesis is the difference between the population means equals the hypothesized difference. For a pair t test, the null hypothesis is that the population mean of the differences equals the hypothesized mean of the differences. The t value for two sample t test is the difference between mean of the first sample and second sample minus the hypothesized difference between the two population means, then divided by sample standard deviation. The sample standard deviation, S, depends upon the variance assumption. The calculation formula for sample standard deviation is the difference between equal variance and unequal variance. 
On the other hand, the t-value for pair t-test is mean of the paired sample differences minus hypothesized population mean of the differences divided by sample standard deviation of the paired sample differences divided by square root of sample size. In summary, two-sample t-test is used when the data of two samples are statistically independent, while the paired t-test is used when data is in the form of matched pairs. In a paired sample t-test, each subject or entity is measured twice, resulting in pairs of observations. To compare unpaired means between more than two groups on a continuous outcome that is normally distributed, choose ANOVA. To compare paired means for continuous data that are not normally distributed, choose the nonparametric Wilcoxon signed ranks test. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye. See you next time.